Good morning. Um, this morning we're going to be doing a gentle yoga class. Um, so it's suitable for everybody, but especially those who are dealing with injury or um, joint pain or anything like that. This is our temporary foster dog, Lobo, who just got neutered. This is why he's wearing a t-shirt. <laughs> I don't have a cone. <laughs> Um, anyway, so we're going to be doing a gentle class and <laughs> um, um, you'll want every sort of prop that you can get. So you'll want a blanket and um, <laughs> a blanket and um, pillows and a strap and um, something that emulates yoga blocks. So that could be um, books or foam roller, anything like that. So we'll get started. to have um, all of your props, so blankets, towels, blocks, that sort of thing. Stay. Um, and we're going to get started on our backs. So you want, actually no, we're going to get started on our seated in cross-legged position. <laughs> One second. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm trying to get the dog to stay over there. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start in seated. And you wanna have something to sit on, so that could be um, a pillow, it could be um, anything that basically you want your hips to be raised up over your, or uh, lifted over your knees. So right now I'm sitting on a pillow where my hips are still below my knees. So I'm gonna find either a firmer pillow, or in this case, I have a block to sit on. So I'm going to sit here on this block, and that way my knees are over, or my hips are over my knees. So we're just going to close our eyes and start to tune into the breath. And this could be nope, stay, stay. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> um, we're going to tune into the breath. So this could be. You know, a deep breath in and out through the nose. With the eyes closed, palms are facing down on top of the knees. And we're breathing deeply in and out through the nose. So a gentle yoga practice is the perfect opportunity to slow down to notice where your body is feeling tight and uncomfortable. And essentially any, it's a time to really take note of where you're at in your practice and where you're at in your body. And like if there's things that are uncomfortable or are hurting you, it's a really good time to just take note of all of those things and just be aware of them. And each time, and every time we go through a practice, you know, making that mental note and noticing what 
in what postures it hurts and like where if it, if it does hurt, then you back out of it. But if it's, you know, noticing where, what your body does and where with each pose, you know, what what's happening in your body when that happens or when you're in that pose. So it's a really good um, opportunity to just observe. <clears throat> So we're going to start to tip our right um, ear to our right shoulder and just open up the neck a little bit on that left or right left side, excuse me. And maybe start to nod your head, yes and no. Just tilting it to the front slightly and to the back, just to get that um, that left side neck opening up. And continuing to breathe deeply through the nose. And then one more deep inhale breath here. And then as you exhale, return your head to, to a neutral position and then take your um, left ear to your left shoulder. And we're going to open up the neck on the right side. And then maybe start to tip your head forward and back slightly. So start to open up that um, right side of the neck. Deep breaths here. In and out through the nose. One more deep breath. And then return to center. And start to take our shoulders into our ears and then roll them down the back. And just make, start to make circles with the shoulders. Just warming them up, shoulder shrugs, maybe one at a time. Maybe circles with the shoulder blades. And then take your hands and clasp them in front of you. And then flip the palms so that your um, palms are facing towards the front of the mat. And then take them up towards the ceiling. So we're just opening, again, opening the shoulders and see when you're in this posture, see if you can um, pull your ribs in. So a lot of times we're like flaring our ribs outwards. See if you can pull your ribs in and keep your back straight and your tummy tucked in. Maybe you reach up a little bit higher. And then rather than having the shoulders in the ears, see if you can drop the shoulder blades down the back so that your shoulders are out of your ears. One more deep breath here. And then exhale, release the palms back towards the um, knees. And then we're going to start to, for, uh, we're going to start to do some seated cat cow. So, cat cow um, is where it's just a spinal warm up. So, in cow pose, we pull the chest through our shoulders, broaden through the collarbones, and arch in the back. Like a, um, we're taking our tailbone um, up towards our shoulders. And then maybe you look up. And then as you exhale, you're you're pulling the shoulders um, together, rounding through the back, puffing up the upper back, and then taking the chin into the chest. So in the inhale breath, it's cow pose, pulling the chest through, lifting the, um, like someone has a string attached to your sternum, pulling that up towards the ceiling and looking up, broadening the collarbones, and then as you exhale, round and curl. Cat pose. Inhale. As you inhale, bring this um, back into cow pose, so pull the chest through your shoulders, look up, broaden with the collarbones, and on the exhale, we round and curl. A couple more of these, inhaling, and then exhaling, rounding and curling, inhale through the nose, and then exhale out. And then return to a neutral spine. We're going to take our um, left hand over, uh, I'm sorry, our right hand over to our left knee. So we're crossing it over and then we're reaching the left arm up towards the ceiling and then seeing if we can open up the shoulders to the left side of the room into a twist. And then our um, left hand comes behind us on the ground or onto the pillow. And you're opening up the shoulders to the left side of the room, seeing if you can keep as straight as possible, like your spine is long and straight. So like 
a string this time is attached to the crown of your head and holding you up. You want to find as long of a spine as possible. And deep breaths into this twist, in through the nose and out. In through the nose. And then as you exhale, start to return to center. Take a deep breath here. And a deep breath out. Take your left hand over to your right knee this time. And we're pulling our right or um, lifting our right arm up towards the ceiling. And start to turn your shoulders to face the left right side of the room. So open up into that twist and then place the fingertips of the right hand on the ground or on the pillow behind you. And get broad in the collarbones, long in the spine and take deep breaths here. Couple more breaths. Find as much length as you can in the spine. One more inhale here. And then as you exhale, return to center. We're going to remove whatever we're sitting on, um, so a pillow, a block, whatever that may be. Then we're, come, we're going to come to our backs. So we're coming to laying on our backs. Get all this stuff out of the way. <laughs> and then you'll want to have um, either a blanket or a strap nearby. So we're coming onto our backs as such. Our knees come into our chest. And just give them a nice little squeeze. Maybe start to make circles with the knees so that you're massaging the sacrum and the low back. And then extend the left leg straight out in front of you. And then keep that right knee pulled into the chest. Take a deep breath and extend as straight as possible through that left leg. Flex the left foot. Flex both of the feet, actually. And see if you can um, uh, engage that extended leg as much as possible. So the more that we engage this uh, extended leg, the more we should feel a nice opening in our um, in our frontal hip um, area, so in the hip flexor. And then pull that right knee towards your chest, and then start to pull it over towards your right armpit. And just give it a nice squeeze, continuing to extend into that left leg. You should really start to feel this in that left, left hip flexor when you take the knee over the leg. And then start to make some circles with that right knee. So we're massaging and lubricating that left hip or the right hip joint. Circles with the knee, breathing deeply through the nose. And then reverse the directions of the circle. And then grab whatever you're using as a strap. So it could be a blanket, a towel, anything like that. We're going to hook the strap around our right foot and extend our leg at a 90 degree angle straight up to the sky. And then grab the strap, whatever is comfortable for you. Keep the foot flexed as much as you can. And the strap should be around the ball of your foot. So we're flexing in the foot. And you, you could have your leg as bent as you need here, but we're, you know, we're working towards a straight knee leg. So that's the, um, you know, the, the help of the strap will, will um, you know, allow you to hold onto that foot and create some resistance. So we push into the strap with our foot and pull down onto the strap at the same time. So we're creating that equal resistance on each side. So continuing to flex the foot. Sometimes I like to flex my toes back even farther, and then I feel this really nice calf stretch when I do that. So the more that you flex your toes back towards your shin, the more you'll feel it in your calf as well. And you know, you can play around with the, um, how much length that you have in the strap. You can take it a little bit further up towards your chest. It's totally up to you, you know, wherever you're comfortable here, getting a nice hamstring stretch. And you can practice bending and maybe trying to straighten the leg. Anything like that. Continuing to breathe super deeply through the nose.
And we'll take one more deep breath here. And then release the strap, release your foot down back towards the mat. And then we are extending our right leg straight out in front of us. Oh, actually, no. Keep the, uh, keep the right knee bent. I apologize. Start to bend that left foot. You let your left knee place the left foot flat onto the mat. Cross your right ankle over your left knee for a, a figure four supine stretch. So this should um, be, you should feel this in your outer hip. If you are not feeling much yet, take your left foot off of the mat and start to draw that right, um, the, draw your knees towards your chest. Continue to push, like use your um, right hand to push into the right knee to push it forward. So you should find a little bit more sensation there as well. So this is, again, your practice anywhere where you feel like you're getting um, sufficient stretch. It could be with your foot onto the ground. It could be with your foot up towards, um, or with your knees coming to, towards your chest. Keep both of your feet flexed here to protect the knees. So that's super important here. And just continue to breathe. In and out through the nose. Couple more breaths. And then release both of the feet down towards the mat. Extend the right leg straight out in front of you. And then pull your left knee into your chest this time. Extend this, uh, as straight as you can into that right, um, that right leg. Flex the right foot and continue to pull that um, left knee in towards your chest and then start to take it towards the armpit, out towards the side. The more that you extend through that right heel, the extended right heel, the more you should feel this in your hip flexor on the right side. Then start to make circles with the knee, the left knee, sort of lubricating that hip joint. Remembering to breathe here. In those breaths, we want to make them as deep as possible. And maybe we match the length, reverse the direction of the circles. Maybe we match the length of the inhale to the exhale. So it's sort of this one long breath just moving in and out of your body like a, like a wave almost. Okay, and then we're gonna grab the strap and then hook it around your left foot and then start to extend that left leg straight up to the sky. and then. Grab onto the strap, flex the left heel as much as possible. Keep the right um, foot as straight as you can, or the right leg as straight as you can as well. So you can practice bending and then straightening. Flex the toes back towards your shin to feel it on the calf. Just explore the sensations of this. Then you roll off the ankle a little bit. Notice how it feels in your hamstrings. Notice how it feels in your calf. Notice how it feels in maybe the low back as well. You know, having the sacrum planted firmly on the mat should feel pretty nice. And breathing deeply here. One more breath in this posture. And then as you exhale, release the strap, release the foot, bend the right knee and place the right foot flat on the mat and cross the left ankle over the right knee for that figure four on the other side. So you can stay here and work the um, left knee towards the bottom of the mat. Or you can pick up the right foot and draw everything towards your chest. So this is, again, this is your practice. This is like wherever you feel like your limit is, just go there and, and don't go and try to go any farther. So we're pressing into that left knee with our left palm, keeping the feet, both of the feet flexed. And we take deep breaths. We'll take one more breath here. And then exhale, release. We're gonna extend our legs straight out in front of us and our arms straight overhead for a nice good morning stretch. I can't reach for this stuff. <laughs> but reach your arms and legs in opposite directions and like you're stretching like you just woke up. 
then we're coming on to, we're going to take our knees into our chest and we're going to start to rock and roll up and down the spine so that we can eventually make our way to child's pose. So however you'd like to get there. Child's pose, um, we're on our hands and knees and we take our knees um, wider than our hips. So that could be um, almost as wide as your bat. It could be um, just a little bit wider than your hips. And then take your toes to touch together, sit back onto your heels, and then start to reach your palms forward. And then we want to sink our chest through our shoulders towards the mat and rest our forehead on the mat. <laughs> if your forehead does not reach the mat, um, and if this is difficult on your um, knees, you'll want to have two props, one underneath your forehead, and then um, no, no. one underneath your forehead and then one underneath your knees. So it should give a little bit of um, release so that one under the knees looks like looks like that. Um, and then you just reach your palms forward and rest the forehead on the mat or on any prop that you have. And we're taking deep breaths again, we're taking deep breaths here. And as you inhale, see how much space that you can create in the back body. So as you inhale in and expand through the rib cage, you feel the back of your body start to rise. And then with each exhale, it falls and you relax further into the mouth. more breaths like that. And then exhale out. Inhale deeply through the nose. And exhale out. Start to rise up onto hands and knees into tabletop position. And then we're going to come into our first downward dog of the day. So from tabletop, Tuck your back toes under, start to walk your hands a little bit farther towards the front of your mat. Lift your knees off of the mat and lift your hips high. Straighten the legs as much as you can and work the heels down towards the mat. You don't have to touch, you can just be working towards that direction. And then spread your fingers as wide as they can and your hands want to be shoulder width distance apart. Um, you have a slight micro bend to the elbows and a slight micro bend to the knees and press Firmly out of the hands so that you get a little bit lighter in the wrists. And then you get a little bit longer in the spine. So the, the more you press into the hand, the more length that you can create in your spine in its pose. Pull your low belly in and pull your ribs together in towards your spine. Deep breaths here. And then as you exhale, the next exhale you take, walk your hands back towards your feet. We're coming into a forward fold. So take your um, your feet and spline as your hips, and then just bend generously into the knees so that you can rest your um, uh, your chest on your onto your thighs. Grab opposite elbows and let your head and your neck hang super heavy. So this may be tough for a lot of people in, in the early morning. Um, I find that folds are pretty difficult. It's, um, you know, it feels pretty tight in my, in my neck and my back when I do this. So I am extra gen gentle in this posture. And I allow myself a little bit more time here. Maybe you sway from side to side and that round will close. Shift your weight onto the balls of your feet so that your hips are more over your heels. Deep breaths in and out through the nose. On your next exhale, let go of everything. So now on the inhale, we're going to rise just halfway up so that our spine is totally straight and our, hand, our hands are resting on our shins. So this is just this is a halfway lift. And then we're going to start to bend into the knees and then walk your hands back out in front of us into downward facing dog. And then take your um, right foot and start to um, uh, step it forward in between your palms 
and then drop your left knee down. So we're in this low lunge position. You may need the blanket underneath your knee, um, your left knee. Release the back toes, and then we're going to rise up here. So we're in this low lunge position. So in low lunge, I want your um, left hip right over your left knee. So we're in this 90 degree angle where um, both of our legs are at a 90 degree angle. And then um, at first, put your hands on your hips and then see if you can drop your right hip down a little bit towards the mat and your left hip comes forward and up. So we're, we're essentially working to square our pelvis and square our hips to the front of the mat. And then press firmly into the shin of your left foot in the top of your foot, or your left leg in the top of your left foot. So we're essentially trying to open up, again, we're opening up this side, um, left hip flexor and the left quad in this position. And then take your arms up towards the ceiling, take your um, biceps and necks towards your ears, drop your shoulder blades down your back, your palms face one another. Pull the low belly in, draw the ribs together. Take a deep breath here. And then as you exhale, start to pull your elbows down to, to shoulder um, height and broaden the collarbones and pinch your shoulder blades together. So we're in this sort of goalpost cactus sort of arms. And then seeing if you can lift your chest up towards the ceiling. And taking care to not flare the hips or dip into the low back like this, we want um, a straight spine as possible. And then as you exhale, reach your arms back up towards the sky. And then start to bend into that front or bend forward to place the palms onto the front of the mat. And, okay, yeah. So we're gonna place the left palm on the inside of our right foot and then reach our right arm up towards the ceiling. And then we're gonna start to make some circles with that arm. You may need um, something, a prop to live um, underneath your left um, hand, by the way, to just like raise yourself up a little higher. Um, that's totally up to you. But we're doing these circles with the right arm, so we're reaching all the way forward. And as we inhale and then all the way back as we exhale. So breath to movement here. Inhaling our arm forward and exhaling it back. Do more. The biggest circles that you can make. And then um, place the right palm back down. So we're framing our front foot. And then start to sit back towards your left heel and try to straighten that front leg. And you may need um, you may need some more props here. I'm grabbing two blocks, and you can have something that emulates the yellow box. Um, but we're straining into the left leg or the right leg, so it looks like this half splits. But I want you to keep your um, body upright, your upper body upright, so that your chest, your your um, spine is straight and your chest is um, pulling through your shoulders and your collarbones are broadened. Flex the right heel as much as you can. So this is what this looks like. And this is a nice hamstring stretch. And then we're gonna play with a little bit of internal and external rotation of the hip. So we're gonna drop um, the outer edge of our right um, foot down towards the mat. So we're opening up um, we're sort of turning our um, the inside edge of our foot up towards the ceiling and dropping the outside edge of our foot down towards the mat. Um, and we want this rotation to come from the hip and not from the knee, right? So we're, we're turning our entire leg open up towards the ceiling. And then we're going to turn in the opposite direction. We're going to do internal rotation. So start to drop that um, the inside edge of the foot down towards the mat and then the outside edge of the foot up towards the ceiling. and then open up to, to um, inside edge to the ceiling. So we're just coming back and forth here, feeling how that feels in the, in the hip space. So this should be, and like your hips may sway side to side here, and that's really okay, because we're fully rotating um, in our hip socket here. And then just return to center, to stillness, and then take your right knee back to meet your left. So we're all uh, standing on our knees here. And then take your left foot and plant it in between your hands in front of you. 
So we're coming to that low lunge on the other side. Um, okay, so we're coming up to, um, to upright position in our low lunge. And again, we want to square the hips. So drop the right hip down towards your mat and pull your left hip forward and up. And seeing if you can bring that um, right hip flexor up towards your shoulders. So we're essentially thrusting our hips towards the front of the mat. So rather than having a tilt in our pelvis this way, we want to pull everything forward. 90 degree angles with our legs. And then our arms come up overhead. The biceps are by the ears. Palms are facing each other. Take the shoulder blades down the back, soften at the shoulders so your ears are out of the shoulders. Hold the low belly in, draw your ribs in together. Deep breath here. And then as you exhale, we're coming that goal post arm. So take your, um, take your um, elbows in line with your shoulders. So they look like that goal post. And then broaden the pelvic bones as much as possible. Lift your chest. Um, up towards the ceiling. And then press into the tops of the top of the foot and into the top of the shin on the right leg. And then exhale, release, reach your arms back up towards the ceiling. And then plant your hands on the ground, framing your left foot. We're coming into that twist um, on the other side. So plant your right um, hand on the inside edge of your left foot. It could be on a pillow or any sort of prop to raise yourself up a little bit more. And then reach your left arm up towards the ceiling, opening up your shoulders and your collarbones to the left side of the room. And then we're starting to make those circles with the shoulders, with the arms. And exhaling, going back. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, go back. Moving in your own pace, with your own breath. A couple more of these. And then return to stillness. Place the left palm on the outside edge of your left foot. And then we're going to start to um, sit our hips back towards our right heel and extend our left leg straight. So you might need to shift your heel a little bit forward. And you might need um, props to rest your hands on to keep yourself upright and keep your spine straight. So our left foot is flexed, and we're starting to feel the sensation in, the, in our um, left hamstring. So this is a half split. And then checking in to make sure that your hips are square with one another, so you might need to drop the left hip down a little bit further. And then start to open up your foot, the, out, the outside, drop your outside edge of your left foot towards the mat so that your inside edge of the left foot is up towards the ceiling. So we're doing that external rotation of the hip. And then reverse that direction. So we're bringing the inside edge of the foot down to the mat, outside edge up towards the ceiling, internal rotation of the hip. And this is all coming from the hip. It's not coming from the knee. So your hips may sway side to side here, and that's totally okay. But I just want you to um, notice the sensations of how this feels in the hip and in the hamstring. Breathing with each movement, so inhaling, as you open up the inside edge of the foot, and then exhaling as you open up the outside edge. So this is breath to movement class. A couple more of this. Remembering the breath. And then return to stillness. We're gonna take um, our left, um, left knee and place it next to our right knee. So we're coming back into that tabletop position. And then we're, um, we're going to do a few cat cows here in full tabletop position. So, um, so it's the same concept that we did earlier in class. On the inhale breath, we drop our belly low, lift our chest through our shoulders, take our tailbone up towards the ceiling, and look up, broaden in the collarbones. And then as you exhale, puff your upper back up, press firmly into the palms, take your tailbone down towards your heels, pull the belly towards the spine, tuck your chin into your chest. And then inhale, drop the belly low, lift the chin, lift the chest, tailbone up towards the ceiling, 
and then exhale, round and curl. Inhale, cow pose, belly goes low, chest comes through the shoulders. And then exhale, cat pose, round and curl. And then just come to stillness. Tuck your toes underneath you, then start to sit back onto your heels. And you walk your hands out in front or uh, towards your knees and just enjoy this um, foot stretch as much as you can. <laughs> it's kind of painful. <laughs> But in that, um, you know, in that discomfort, know that, you know, there's a difference between pain and discomfort. So if you're feeling true pain here, um, whenever you do anything, really, whenever you do any posture, it's, it's important to recognize, you know, being uncomfortable versus, and like, and, chal and challenged versus being in pain. So um, that's, you know, what yoga helps you do. It helps you sort of distinguish that, um, that and differentiate what those sensations are. So then release the back toes, and then just tap your, the tops of your feet on the mat just to um, stretch it off. Okay, so we are going to come into Sphinx pose. So remove whatever props that you have out of the way, and we're going to start to walk our um, down to our forearms, drop our hips low, so that our um, the tops of our feet move this out of the way. The tops of our feet are resting on the mat, and our um, our arms are in a number 11 position. Um, our wrists are in line with our elbows, and then our shoulders are tracking right over our elbows. So you might need to pull them a little bit further. And then we're going to take our pubic bone down towards the mat, so and our tailbone down towards our heels. So press the pubic bone into the mat, press the tops of the feet into the mat, lift the kneecap so that your, um, uh, your quads are engaged. And then start to energetically drag your um, forearms and your hands back towards your elbows, back towards your ribs. Broaden at the collarbones. Relax the shoulders. Take the shoulder blades down the back. And just pull your chest through. So this should be a nice um, back bend, front body stretch. Taking deep breaths here. Again, we're pressing firmly in, uh, into the mat with our pubic bone and the tops of our feet. One more deep breath here. And then as we exhale, we're coming back onto tabletop pose. And we're going to sit onto our knees. Take your hips towards the side of um, your mat and then just swing your legs out in front of you. And then bend into your left knee and place the um, sole of your foot basically right at the inside edge of your right knee. Wrap your right arm around your knee. Take your left arm up towards the sky. Open up your shoulders towards the left side of the room. And then place your palm behind you right at your um, low back, right where your um, sacrum meets the mat. And see how tall you can get, see how straight you can get in the spine. So we're coming into this um, extended twist here. Taking deep breaths in and out through the nose. With each inhale, maybe you lift or you sit up a little bit straighter. And with each exhale, you twist maybe a little bit deeper. The important thing about this pose is that you're, you try to keep your spine as long and straight as possible. And then exhale, release slowly back to center. Extend the uh, left leg forward, and then take the right knee up into your chest. Um, sole of your foot is on the inside edge of your left knee. Start to wrap your left arm around your knee Reach your right arm up towards the ceiling. Open up your shoulders to the right side of the room. And then take your um, right palm right at the base of your sacrum. We'll straighten your um, spine as much as you can as you open up your shoulders, your collarbone, towards the right side of the room. With each inhale, you extend your, the crown of your head up towards the ceiling a little bit further. And with each exhale, you twist a little bit deeper.
Deep breaths in and out through the nose. One more breath here. And on the next exhale, slowly start to return to center. And then take your um, right leg straight out in front of you. We're going to come onto our backs again. So um, shift your hips forward to meet your heels. And then we're going to roll onto our back. Start to draw the knees into the chest. And see if you can grab the outside edges of your feet with your hands. So you might have to roll into this tiny little ball. That's OK. Um, and then see if you can take your heels up towards the ceiling. And then as you do that, see if you can take your um, knees into your armpits. So this is happy baby pose. So your tailbone may be lifted off of the mat, and that's totally OK. The goal is to work your tailbone down towards the mat. And then maybe you rock side to side here. This is called happy baby pose. A lot of happy babies look like this. <laughs> work the tailbone down towards the mat. And then feel that compression in the hip flexors. Feel this in the groin. And then in the back as well. And then you're going to um, release the feet. And I want you to grab um, a blanket. I'm going to, um, yeah, I'm going to grab a pillow. A pillow, um, a lumbar pillow or a blanket. And you're going to roll the blanket so that it's shaped like this. Um, so it's long and thin, but it's like in a roll. It looks like a little burrito. And you're going to place it um, at the top of your mat. And then you're going to grab two more pillows, um, uh, and we're going to place those under our knees in just a moment. But we're going to set it up here so that um, our the pillow or the blanket is right at our um, sacrum as we lay back. And hopefully our shoulders are um, coming, or our shoulder blades are off of that pillow and off of that um, blanket. And they're rolling up towards the, or they're rolling down towards the mat. And then our head should be resting either on the, um, on the pillow. I'm oh, sorry, on the blanket or the pillow or off of it. It's totally up to you there. So this is a nice sort of like opening in the chest. It's a restorative posture that helps you open the front body and broaden up the collarbones and, and open up the shoulders. And then the next step to this is finding two pillows to place underneath your thighs. So we're going to take the soles of our feet together and place the pillows underneath our thighs so then we're in this um, butterfly position with our legs and then our arms are resting to our sides with our palms facing out so this should feel pretty good it's a gentle stretch in the, in the groin area gentle opening in the shoulders in the front body just close your eyes we're going to be here for a minute or two. And reconnecting with the breath here. Wherever you are, making sure that you're breathing as deep as possible. In and out through the nose. Few more breaths here. And 
Feel your next exhale. Take the out of your hands to the outsides of your thighs. Pull your knees together. And then just remove um, those pillows out of the way. We're staying in the blanket, but this time I want you to take your feet as wide as your mat. And then drop your knees together to touch. Just feeling that release in the low back. Breathing deeply through the nose still. And one more breath here. And then exhale. We're going to just roll off of that pillow onto our side. And then remove that pillow out of the way. And we're going to come back into your backs. And this time we're setting up for supported bridge pose. So you may use the same pillow. Um, if you have the yoga block, this works too. But we're going to lift our hips off of the mat and take that pillow underneath our sacrum. So, um, you know, it, it, you could stack a few pillows if you want to lift your hips a little bit higher. But essentially anything to raise um, your hips so that it's over your heart. I'm going to take a block and put it there. And it should be, it shouldn't be on your butt, it shouldn't be on your low back, it should be right in between. Um, on that bony part, just right above your tailbone. And your knees are straight in front of your hips and your heels are right underneath your knees. And then just take your arms out to the side again. And we'll be here for a little bit. Inversions are a really nice way to reverse the direction of our circulation for a little bit. You know, we spend so much time upright, and it's really nice sometimes to reverse the that, you know, and, and people really like inversion tables and all those things for a reason, and it's a nice way to sort of get the blood to flow back towards the center of our body and into our organs and, and let, um, let our feet and our ankles uh, relax a little bit. And get a little bit of the swelling out of the feet and the ankles that sometimes sometimes occur with being in our feet all day. Deep breaths in and out through the nose. One more breath here. And then we're going to bend into our knees and take our legs at a 90 degree angle to start and then see if we can straighten them up towards the ceiling. So we're in um, a supported um, legs at the wall pose. So we're not, you know, if you want to move to, to a wall and just have your um, legs fully on legs at the wall without just like lifting them up in the center of the room, that's really fine. But we're here for a moment. And you may start to feel like that. You can shift um, the pillow anywhere that you need to to give yourself a little bit more support, but the idea is to lift your hips a little bit higher. So this is a little bit easier to do without the wall. So I want you to start noticing the longer that you keep your legs straight like this, that tingling sensation that you start to feel in the feet. And it may take a few seconds, but Start to feel some, some some gentle sensations in the feet and in the ankles. Take a few more breaths here. And then as you exhale, bend into the knees very gently. And then take your knees in towards your chest. And then remove whatever um, prop that you have from under your sacrum. And then give yourself another little squeeze here. Maybe you're rocking side to side again. Maybe you're drawing circles with the knees. And then we're going to do one more twist and then um, 
and we'll come into our final resting pose. So take your arms out wide like a T, and then start to drop your knees over to, towards the left. If you find when you do this that your right shoulder comes lifts off of the mat, take a pillow and place it underneath your knees here. And then see if you can draw your right hip down towards the bottom of your mat. And we're taking deep breaths here. Couple of breaths. And then start to draw your knees back in towards your chest. Staying here for a breath to resell the spine. And then when you're ready, dropping your knees over towards the right. If you find that your left shoulder is lifting off of the mat, place a pillow underneath your knees. And take deep breaths here. Take the left hip down towards your heels. Take one more breath here. And then as you exhale, start to draw your knees back into your chest, wrapping yourself into a tiny little ball. So take your, um, your forehead towards your knees and wrap yourself up as tight as you can. And then as you exhale, on your next exhale, release into your final resting pose, Shavasana. So that's your legs are extended straight out in front of you. The outside edges of your feet are dropping down towards the floor. Lift, um, thank you. Lift um, your shoulder blades off of the mat and tuck your shoulders underneath you. And then lift your tailbone off of the mat and see if you can tuck it underneath you so that you're resting more and sit down. And start to relax every single part of your body, noticing if there's anything that you're tensing that you're holding on to, any tension, clenching that you may be feeling. Take this time to release that tension, let go of whatever you're holding on to, keeping the eyes closed and letting go of the breath. So any breath control that you have, just letting your natural breath take its course. Closing the, the eyes lightly closed, Remove the furrow from your brow, that crease in your brow. Unclench the jaw. Your lips are slightly parted. Remove the tongue from the roof of your mouth. So I invite you to stay here as long as you need. I definitely recommend at least five minutes. Um, just enjoy this moment of peace and clarity. And again, thank you so much for joining me as always. So please stay here as long as you want. Bye guys.